Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is G. Cole, and welcome to Homegrown, where I get to share with you some good music while talking to some great people. Hello world, hope you're feeling as good as I am. I want to big up all my homegrown listeners out there and welcome all the new listeners. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so we can keep you updated when new material is available. We will be posting new episodes bi-weekly. Want to thank everyone who has been listening and sharing. Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please check out the website homegrownwithgcall.com to listen and for all things homegrown. The podcast is now available on iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Radio.com, YouTube, wherever you listen to your podcast, we're there. We're also very interactive. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at MyGCole. The video of this interview is available on YouTube. Please subscribe to our Homegrown with G. Cole YouTube channel. This is episode 95, and it comes to you courtesy of Tad's Records latest release, Gregory Isaac's dub versions vinyl cut. It is a two-disc vinyl set, all right? Straight up dub vibes from the cool rule himself, Gregory Isaacs, featuring songs like Stranger in Town, Soon Forward, Cool Down the Pace, Night Nurse, Love Me With Feeling, John Paul public and a whole lot more all right and i'm talking about the dub the dub the dub all right works on here from lee scratch perry we got the likes of dean phrase on here it's an awesome 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 body of work all right gotta get this one in your collection and of course did i mention flabba holt robbie lynn sly and robbie steely and cleavy the roots radix band bunga herman namba robinson chico chin and a whole lot more and ah guess what mixed 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 by king toby don't say I didn't tell you. Remember, Gregory Isaac's dub versions, the vinyl cut. Courtesy of Tad's Records, add it to your collection now. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's conversation is one I've been looking forward to. This artist, of course, is one of my favorite artists. And like I say over and over and over again, one of the top, 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 one of the best voices in reggae music, one of the best performances in reggae music. And also, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, We're going to be talking about this artist with the same amount of reverence, love, respect that we refer to today's King Sir Bears Famine with. All right. And I'm talking about tonight's guest, none other than Mr. Romaine Virgo. (laughs) Virgo, how are you going? You can hear me? G. Cook, I can hear you loud and clear, man. Bless you. It's a blessing, it's a joy, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to be on the show today. You know, big up to everybody that's watching right now. A blessing, man. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. It's 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 been a minute, should have been a minute, but I tell people all the time, nothing before it's time. True, true. I mean, true. so I'm 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 heading straight in there because when I talk to people all the time, you're you're one of those artists where um and I'm gonna say the new millennium, not 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 talking about the kids, but just carrying this thing in the, to, to the future. There are certain artists when we talk about the D Browns of, of, of our time, we talk about the Barrysome of our time. Everybody wants to get in and they talk music and they talk everything else. When I call the name Romain Virgo, they also want to do that. It ain't just about the mm-hmm. tune and where clap our road. So we getting yeah. straight in. And a lot of people know of you from winning the rising star and coming through. But talk to me a little bit about this little thing called. All together sing, yeah. <laughs> um, all together sing is quite a competition here in Jamaica for, for high schools. Um, we we entered that in, in 2006, um, which was our first time as a school from the country. Name of my high school, by the way, is a bus not Gallimore High School, which is located in the parish of St. Anne, up in the hills, you know. Mm. Um, we, we entered the competition in 2006. Originally, I wasn't the lead singer from my choir though. You know, at the time, you know, but then they decided that hey, you should you should be a part of this choir and you should sing. I can remember the first time we entered the competition on the very first day that we auditioned, I was just there to make up numbers. I was just there, you know, so it could look a little bit more balanced, you know, in right. terms of the, you know the male female balance of things, and. You know, it was it was good, you know, and I remember the the very first time singing as as a lead singer for the choir for a song. You know, everybody loved it, the judges and the competition. Wow. So it was it was a beautiful competition, man. So many schools across Jamaica, you know, came on and showed their talents and and, and as a country school entering for the very first time. It was just amazing to see how well we did and to see the love that people were showing at the time, you know. So 
you know, big up my school about that Gallimore High School. We entered. We didn't win the year though, but what we did, you know, we 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 made our stamp on the ground there, you know, allowing people to know that hey, the school from country can can do their thing too, you know. So Man. it was it was just a blessing, man. We came second in two thousand and six, and and that was our big break as a school. But for me, even more importantly, my 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 break, you know, as a solo artist, people are saying, listen. Enter rising stars, go for rising stars next. Wow. Yes, yeah. I love that. I love that. No, I'm from Ochoa's, right? So I'm a Saint Anne man. Oh, All right. God. The, girl, yeah, yeah, the, best, the best parish in the world, man. All right. And I'm alone said people think something else I show off, but but but, <laughs> but I'm saying no, being from Saint Anne, I yeah. proudly claim all the four great seminars. I'm not saying about spear me, I go claim it. Yeah. Bob me, I claim it. Yeah, Romain, Marcus Gavin. Yeah, claim it. Marcus Gavin, man, claim. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody who forget claim, we are claim. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. But here's the thing. This is the part about it, which I will say, I uh, can't, where is Stepney? <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I kid you not, never heard of Stepney until yeah. I heard of Romeo and Virgo. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um. See, as somebody said, no, sir, St. James are the best parish. <laughs> yep. If we ever start with a parish warrior, we're not gonna be tonight. You know, but, but you know what? You know what? We're gonna say the garden parish. Yeah. Um, and, no and names. The, no yeah. names. Yeah. But Stepney, Stepney is Stepney is a mile or two away from nine miles where Bob Marley is from. So mm. the funny thing about it, I feel like tourists, you know, people from all over the world would pass through Stepney than most Jamaicans because it is that close to nine miles you know if you are coming from say the brownstone alexandra end to reach nine miles then there is a possibility that you'll you'll pass to step me you know so it's way up in the hills man it's closer to it's closer to to, to clarendon than than closer than how it is closer to ochre gotcha gotcha because i was wondering and once i started thinking i think about not gallimore and I, I I went to Fern Court for a minute, so we I know okay, the, fo yeah, the, yeah. the football vibes, and I mean, so I yeah, know about yeah, about yeah. Gallimore. Yeah. But you yeah, have some people, you know, it go already in a Virgo. People have gone, and I know them know the artists and them know step me, but I really <laughs> I walk in the seminar because I bridge in a mind. I tell me say, oh, I'm start go deep now. I bought not Gallimore. I talk about Charlton Primary. I talk about a bag of things. Yeah. Um, but him know him no know nothing about that from morning. But we just want make it shine. Yes, it was who, who this Adriana. Yes, she big up the world place. that step me nine miles, Murray, Grands Mountain Lodge. So she know the world place. You know what I mean? Is is our place that we play ground, man. But yeah, you see the hills is a different vibe and 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 it's a different kind of people. You know, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, when I tell people the kind of community where I come from, I me say yo, it's a peaceful place, and I tell people that I I grew up poor, but I didn't know. Wow. Uh, and the, the 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 reality for that is because. Yeah, we were poor, but because the community take care of each other so much that, like, you know, it, it, maybe no food no cook in my yard today, but we know some, if I go over G. Cole yard and her mother see me, yeah. there's no way she's going to make me leave and ask me if I'm hungry or if I eat food. And that's it. That's the kind of community, that's the kind of area that I come from. You know? So, yeah, man, I love it, man. I love wow. it. Love it. I, I, if, I'm, if I should have born again, I would want to born, you know, other community and the rightness again, you know, because right. the, the upbringing is what makes me the person that I am today. You know, somebody that's grateful. I love that. I love that. And I've the one thing I've noticed is this because you probably won't remember, but the first time I met you was when you were promoting the second album, The System, right? System, okay, yeah. Another time after that was years after you, you, you already star and I do the thing, and then of course, recently again, jerk fest. It's probably like, Bob, um, Barry's birthday, but it says a couple of different times. Yeah, 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 too. And one thing I've noticed is this, from day one till now, outside of the catalog getting more immense, mm -hmm. there's no change. You know what I mean? Yeah. No change in demeanor, no change in humility. And I always mm -hmm. say, do I attribute that to the country? That not just not just an upbringing, but to mm -hmm. the country. Because country people have that warmth. Then I'm wondering if that's yeah. what I need to credit that to. Yeah, I feel so. And, and, and I feel like... If it should be, if it should be anybody else outside that the, 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 the person that, you know, let me say the community race, I would move outside of family. If I should be somebody else, then I would disappoint an entire community, 
you know, because you know, with all that I would be going on with, they would be the ones who know say, yo, that I know him, you know, that I know him grow up, you know. So with that, with that in mind and 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 that just being a part of me, I feel like it is what people are seeing because sometimes even myself would be like, yo, I don't know what people is talking about. But um, I'm, I, I, this is just me. And if I be anything outside of this, then just know that something is terribly off. You know, I'm, I'm maybe made up on something else. But um, <laughs> I can't be not. I can't be nothing else than myself. And at the end of the day, I always have in mind say, you know, no matter who you be and where you reach in life, people help you. You know, so nobody can come. Hey, I was I grew up like this and I didn't have this, but I have this now, and you know, I deserve to. You know, if you didn't have people around and people to help you, there must be somebody. And even if somebody didn't help you directly without somebody's support, then you wouldn't be in the position that you're in. So I always have that in the back of my head. Say, at the end of the day, you are here now and you're doing music and you've, you're seeing some form of success, whether financially or, you know, just just growth in, 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 in you being a better person. You're seeing all of that, but... You, you can nev never forget, you know, where you're coming from and then forget that people help you along the way and you have to show them. You never know. Just like you say, no, you know, I could have seen you all day in the street, but me never remember say, yo, me didn't meet a couple of years ago. And the person that you met back then, if you see a different person now, you'd, have, you, you, you'd be so disappointing, right. disappointed, you know. So it's, it's things like these always in my head. I say, yo, remember where the thing I come from. Remember, say, there is people who really and truly support you and put you where you are now. So you have to always uh, treat people, you know, and the right way, but live a life where, you know, if, if somebody should see you on the stage or they see you at home or they see you in a crowd or wherever, it's the same person. And, and that, is, that is just me, man. Like, I don't want to be anything else. I just want to be me and... You know, sometimes I don't even want to feel like the artists when they're around, even people who don't know me. I just want them to see a human being in front of them, you know, but just somebody that, you know, when you go up on stage, it's a different thing, take him over, and him just want to, you know, give you everything there on stage, you know, where, where I want to know him for. But I just want to be a real human being at the end of the day, um, somebody who anybody can walk up to and talk to. If you want a picture, you can come up to me. If you want to hold a reason, you can come up to me and do that. You know, um, it's just me, man. I love that. I love that. And, and we need that a lot because especially in this day and age where mm -hmm. the hype can get so loud and it can get to us Trust so me. much. But, but you know, something as an artist, sometimes we do need that ego to, for drive. But at the same time, the, the ego can't be the driver. You know what I mean? Let exactly. it push you, exactly. but it can't lead you. You said you know right. I mean? mm -hmm. So I love that. I mean, I appreciate it. Now, we, we again, I got the albums. We talking from then till now. Big tune I drop on, on a regular. But take me through that <laughs> rising star journey. What was that yeah. journey like? Because again, that's competition. That's you going up against the best. That's focus. That's coming out of home. You know, something at yeah. the home, and you perform amongst your peers. But now you gone to Kingston. You gone all over. Talk to me a little bit about that rising star journey. Yeah, it, it was a beautiful journey to be honest with you. Um, I met some people in the competition that I will never forget because uh, just the person or, or or the people there were, and um, it was like family. You know, so it was a competition, but it was, you see these people every day, you wake up, whether you wake up in the same hotel or wherever, you're seeing the same faces for weeks. It's just that each week one person go home and then you feel like, wow, I wish we could just, mm. the entire competition could just finish with everybody being here. You know, but it was like a family thing. I've, I've, I've learned so much, you know, as a youth from the country, I come to town for the first time. I mean, I didn't remember which unfold the knife or which unfold the fork, you know, you know, when you're going to certain settings because I was so new to Kingston and new to this life you now where we get to sleep in a hotel room for the first time. Wow. You know, you from the country. These small little things then were mm. so big to me. And, you know, now we get to work in a place like, you know, a national television station, like a TVJ and see all the cameras and all the lights are on me and Jamaica and the world was seeing me now. Those were life-changing moments for me. Um, you know, so much so that, you know, I was so nervous. I got so nervous when it comes on to performance time or interview that I didn't say much back then. I was so shy. 
and I have to use the bathroom probably four or five times before. <laughs> Jano! <laughs> Jano, sir, I feel you, Virgo, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you have nerves, man, you know, and, and, you know, just, just to see, you know, at one point I was even saying to me, like, me even start doubting myself, you no, know, like, yo, you, you, you're never ready for this yet because, you know, nerves, I get the best of you. And, and, you know, to see, you know, you know, people just believe in them, you know, in me at the time, people from the community, um, especially, and just Jamaica, just, everybody just started, hey, this kid, he has so much talent, we love him so much, we love this about him, we love that about him, and to see how far it has, you know, over, over time, you know, you know, performing each night and getting better as the competition grow, you know, my grow too. Um, see so how it end i came out on top at, as the youngest person to ever win the competition at the time i was 17 you know and making my community making my family proud making you know jamaicans home and abroad who were supporting me proud it was just a, a, a great feeling man um wow. wonderful feeling love yeah, that man. love that no no 17 so when you won were you still in high school or did you already graduate i i, I just left high school because what happened is like all together thing was 2006 we we came second in 2006 no everybody were saying listen no make writing star miss it this year you know so that's very very year i i went an audition in ochi over by um any name island village okay yeah yeah island village yeah. plaza yeah man so um we went to audition and we never make it through in 2006 um the judges i think when i went up and sing anthony miller just said sorry wrong song you wow. know and me just feel like if i can't please him as that judge at the time then you know make no sense that was how much i wanted to 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 to, to if you how much i wanted to just build up my confidence like right. him is the man i'm really into because the other judges i feel like they were more lenient you know and, and understanding whenever it comes down to, 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 to singers. But he was harsh, you know, and, and if I couldn't please him, then I feel like, yo, next time. So yeah. him said me wrong, so let me just walk off. And I feel like at the time, Nadine Sutherland was, like she wanted to call me back and say, sing something else. But, you know, I was, I felt so ashamed at the time. Like me, I said, no, can't please him, I'm gone home next year, right. you know? And went back home and, you know, there were people who were saying, well, oh, yourself next year try again don't give up and i went back 2007 so and yeah man was I see I, that was the right time you know not, wow. not, i just said earlier on in the interview like you know probably shot me a long time but nothing beats the right um not, nothing beats the right time and i feel like it's the same thing with me and music and anything that i do you know like nothing not beat the right time not the first time i love that i love that and that's so true no mm. You're coming out a rising star. We're going into the world of real music right about now. And you are mm. with Penthouse. Yeah. All right. Now, when I talk to, I, I spend a lot of time talking to the OGs. I love sitting down talking to the OGs. And believe it or not, I wouldn't consider you an OG, but there's a lot I can learn from a youngster like yourself. Mm. But you did not go up the regular route of the, the singing on the sound and traveling at the sound box or whatever the case mm. may be. But you're under the tutelage of those people who did. Talk yes. to me a little bit about that penthouse influence and how that, you know, what I mean, nurtured and affected who you became as as the artist Romain Virgo. Yeah, well, uh, uh, well, the sound system thing we kind of did a little bit before I think stars in our community. Oh yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't as probably as tough as others who kind of set the the, the, the journey for us. So I'm now probably dive into too much of that because it was at a much easier time where. You know, um, at the time it was right before going into Rising Stars, which Rising Stars is a bigger platform, right? You know, and, and open doors for, for so much more. But working with somebody like Donovan Jeremy at Penthouse, mm -hmm. you know, was such a a wonderful thing for a young artist in so many different ways. Uh, and, and the reason why I say that is because I remember the very first time walking through the gates of Penthouse Studios. Donovan Jermaine told me that he wanted me to, he was saying, all right, you want to know, you're going to leave this rising star thing out of the gate because when you come up penthouse, I see your business, my boss. 
right, right. <laughs> and <laughs> those words never, ever, ever, ever like feel way out of my head or anything like that. Like there are moments of me just sit down and remember them. Like every time I remember him as a yeah. person, I just remember, you know, going to Ventos and Vice and those words are the first thing I, w- I will remember. And and I totally understand what he meant at the time because, you know, coming from a competition like Rising Stars in Jamaica at the time, we were like little s- celebrities here in Jamaica, you know, because everybody is on to Rising Stars at the time. Right. You know, you go to the high school as a teenager to perform, the, let- the girls would be all over you. And, you know, if, if you're not firm here then you know you can you can feel like you reach right because you're at that time now you're singing you're covering songs you know we're, we're singing all our favorite songs from the competition and the girl they will scream they will faint they would so if you're not focused enough or, or, or smart enough to know that hey i'm nowhere near i want to be yet so i can't get carried away you know so 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 i, I was so grateful for that first introduction even though it was so serious, <laughs> you know, I was grateful for it. I never forget it. And it helped to build something else inside of me. You know, it showed me a different road in terms of coming here is about hard work and it's about right. making sacrifices, you know, putting in all your energy to make something of yourself, you know, because you can't go around every day singing other people's song or singing Rising Star's song and feel like it is going to be like that forever. And... You know, he was there as a as a as a as a father figure, not just a producer, but like a father figure. Somebody who will tell me the truth, like about other things that have to do with life right, outside right. of music. You know, and that that was what I really and truly needed at the time. You know, just somebody to guide me. And mm-hmm. you know, imagine a young youth around a big man yeah, every day. Yeah. You know, and, and if I wasn't around any of my peers. It was it was wow. it was. Big man, me, I got students see, see every day who had guide me and show me the, the, the right things. You know, them music, yeah, you want to sing them kind of music, yeah. And it helped me so much, man. Me meet some of the, some of the artists, them, we never know me to meet. You know, it was right there. I met, you know, Busy Signal, Agent Sasko. Um, you know, so many artists that I look up to and, and, and respect. You know, Master Griffiths. Wow. You know, it was right there. Because, you know, Donovan German and and you know Barry Hammond, mm-hmm. you know like it's it's that that's a camp, you know. So yeah. it was it was such, it was such a, a a different kind of experience. Something that I never knew I would get that early, mm-hmm. but it helped me to understand who I was at the time and where I should be going, what I should be focused on. And right. so, Pentos, I will I will always be grateful to Donovan German. Always be grateful to everybody that is there as a guide for me. And it's just a blessing, man. Just a blessing. Whenever I look back, you know, even doing things now, it's almost like the same schedule I'm on, like. Right. So somebody said, Romain, still the session um, today, 7 p.m. He's like, we can't miss it. We can't late because, you know, if he's like a Donovan German, he's going to be there. <laughs> said, Yo, what, what, boss? <laughs> Well, go on, or you reach us a late, you know? Yeah. So, you just show you said it's good to have people around who, and the people who are going to stroke, or are going to get up every day and feel like, yo, me need to, you know, yeah, man, anything we're say, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, them people like the yes man people, they're like, yeah, man, anything mm-hmm. the artist say is, yeah, me, yeah, my artist, yeah, my boss. It wasn't anything like that. You know, Donovan Jeremy was my boss. I, I listened to him. Anything when he said, we know say is based off of experience, things that he have seen over the years. So it was it was it was good, man. I'm a big my big him up and I'm just grateful for all the teachings. And as I say, nowadays, anything when I do, even my record a song on 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 my own, is everything I come back to me from those days. I say, wow. do this. This is what you have to do now. So you're going to you make sure the grammatical errors them. I didn't think they correct you. Yeah, make sure you write a song, you write it to your full potential. You know, and the teachings, you know, it never leave oh. me. It's still there, yeah, man. 
Awesome. I love that, brother. Because, you know, it's, it's amazing, like I said, especially in this day, social media, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. your, your, your star and your light shines so farther than you can ever reach. And sometimes when you do get there, you're already huge. So it, yeah, it affects yeah. the ego. It affects the psyche. Man, make it know straight up, you know. Yeah, I, I got to give I gotta give you props on the humility. Cause you see, you see. You see, if I did me, Virgo, I'm a big and serious. You, know? <laughs> you see, if I did me, all I'm going to say be a girl, be a girl, be a girl. Well, that's all I'm going to say now. But well, we're moving on. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now, here's the thing I will, I will say. We talk about athletes. We talk about just human beings in general. The artist, that is the artist, artist. You know what I mean? You got mm -hmm. the athletes, that's the athletes, athletes. And you know what I'm saying? The coach, that's your coach's yeah. coach. You are that artist, artist. Because every time I speak to other artists, and especially the OGs, the Nadine mm -hmm. Sutherlands, I'm speaking with the Marcia Griffiths and speaking to the Barry Sunday Monday. We are one of the first names that they call. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. me, every time I drop a Romeo and June, my reference is in five, in 10, in 15 years, you're going to mm -hmm. speak about this, this singer the way how you speak about Barris right now in terms of that reverence, right? And when I speak to Barris, he echoes that sentiment. And I know mm -hmm. you got a relationship with Barris and, 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 and just, he is the king. Talk to me a little bit about that influence from somebody like a Barris Hammond in terms of you, not just as an artist, but as a, as a human being. Um, it's just, it's just amazing. Like you can't find the words to really express you know, when somebody like a Barry Salmon, Marcia Griffiths, um, you said, you mentioned Nadine Sutherland, who was somebody who, I remember the first time singing on Rising Star. She was just, I'm talking now and I'm getting goosebumps. Wow. Um, she, she was saying, you, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be a star, you know? Wow. And at the time, I, I never, you know, probably, you know, you know, the bubble of the excitement and everything, I couldn't understand. I couldn't see what she was talking about, you know, and, and not to say that, hey, I'm a star, no. But it's just more to say that you have people who can see way ahead of what you are seeing or what right. somebody else is seeing, you know. And, and all of these names that you, we call, you know, um, are people who, you know, they, you know they, they, they have the ability to see it before. You know, so they can talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, the, when I get the opportunity to sit and reason with somebody like a Barry Salmon, whether at his studio or backstage, you know, because that's where we would see each other more, more, most often. You know, in the past, you know, couple of years, right. you know, he's at a show. You know, because there are times where he would be on tour in the US or wherever, and I would get to do, you know, two or three shows on the road, you know, share the same stage with him, which is always amazing. You know, whenever you get to reason with somebody like him, it is moments that you can't forget. You know, right. the words just stick. Every single thing he says is like a lesson and 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 something that you, you know you don't want to you don't want you don't want to leave your, your head. Oh. You know, oh. um there's never a moment that I'm around very someone and he says something that you don't learn something from. Mm -hmm. And that is powerful. That is that is that is powerful to me to have somebody who, you know, you know, he will he will give you all all the props. But there's a serious time when when he, when he's ready to talk serious about mm -hmm. life and and you as a person, he's that person too. You can you know you will be there run jokes with the right through, and then there comes a serious time where you hear you, you go in that voice and they will call you kid kid and you, you know and you, we don't have a lot of artists like like this nowadays who will mm -hmm. sit with you and reason with you and versus is somebody who you can when you reason with him you can see that if if he didn't if you know he will reason with anybody you know but when he reason with you on certain levels is, is out of respect and you yeah. see something different you know so i'm just grateful for the life of somebody like Barry, you know, you know, his, his personal life plus his music because it has so much impact on on my life and on so many lives around the world. Right. You know, there is a certain power that comes with him, and um, you know, people would say, "Yeah, yo, you're the next this and you're next." I I don't think there will ever be an next Barry Salmon. Right. You know, I, I I I I don't see that. You know, um, what we can do as artists is is try to emulate most of what he does, you know, in his lifetime and see how best we can make him proud, 
you know, for how, for, for his works, his, you know, how far he has, you know, you know brought his legacy in terms of the music. Right. You know, we, we just have to try and see what we can do and use his, his, his life, his music as an example to, 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 to be the best we can. You know what I mean? Because when I think about him, for, you know, as one of the names that you mentioned earlier, it's, it's like a different level. It's a different yep. level. It's a different human being. Um, he's just a great human being and a great soul. And, you know, you know, for every moment, the other day I, I, I was on a phone call with him and, and I laughed till my, my, my nearly week because that's the kind of person. So embarrassed. You never ever feel like him too bigger than anybody if you, if you sit you know, have a drink or have a reasoning with you, you know, so but just a try to show you say if it is 10 seconds, we get to say something to him, mm -hmm. there is something that I'm going to remember from it, and that is powerful, I can't say about every artist, right, you right. know, so I'm, I'm just grateful, man, I'm grateful, I feel blessed to just to be alive within a time like this where he's doing his music, every show that I go to and like, for example as I say, on tour in the US, for example if I go to three, four shows straight, and even though it, it might be the same um, set that it, 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 it does every night, mm -hmm. watching him in, every, in, in different crowds is like you're seeing him for the very first time. That don't happen with every artist to me. It's like this man, what is it about this man that is so powerful, you know? Right. His, his work, his work, his work. Wow. He, he put in the work, man, and... and you know, it, it it it's just amazing. It's just amazing to 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 to, to be here to see it, man. He's, he he's somebody I really and truly look up to. I respect so much. I have so much respect for him, for his family, and you know, my my hope is just you know for 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 continued health and and blessings over his life, so that he can be here for as long as possible to wow. to sing and and to uplift others and to to. You know, to just bless us with, with his music and with his personality, man. He's he's just he's my general. He's my general. That's all I can say. Yeah, man. I love that. I love that. And 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 I can hear it in in your in your, in your inflections. I can hear it Trust in the me. words and everything. And it, it's bears we're talking about. So 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 what else do, do you expect? You know, I, when when I when I think about a Barry's Hammond, I think about not just the distinct because the, the similarities are there. Now, when I say mm -hmm. I, I, I hate saying I don't I don't normally say the next Barris, but I, I feel like the, that honor, that reverence, because to me, Barris has surpassed many of even his 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 pioneers. Yeah, you know even, I mean? even even some international artists where we think about like, yo, the artists are big. Talk to them; they will tell you how much they love and respect me. Yep. Barris Hammond, you know. So yep. That, that that alone, may I tell you, is 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 a different level. Yeah, man. it is. And and I see that I see that for you in terms of the songwriting of Barry Hammond is what I find very profound. Mm -hmm. Um, and your songwriting too is something I find very profound because when it comes to writing songs, you know, I mean, we have our atypical, we got our hooks, we got our verses, we got our bridges, we got our whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Yeah. But I always feel like there are certain artists, whether it be R and B, whether it be country, that. It doesn't sound like your atypical structure of a song. It sounds to me more like you just know, overhear a conversation. Just the mm -hmm. verbiage, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not it's, it's not slang inf infused or none of them like a thing there. Talk to me a little bit about you getting your message across. Because again, the thing is, it's evident mm -hmm. your your the humility is there. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to getting that message out there, it connects with everybody. Is that something that you put time, effort into the songwriting purpose um, um process, or is it just Mm -hmm. I just made that. Yeah, I mean, in, in the last part of me, you know, like, that's the last part, like, as if I stopped recording. <laughs> but, um, you know, when 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 it was me, Busy Signal, D Major, Esco Levi, RC, Sugar, you know, Tamika Marshall, all these names while we were, were at Pentos writing, you know, um, on a daily basis, there were times when we would when I would stray from the way that I know I should write mm -hmm. and, you know, just fit in as a group thing where we'd go there and everybody would tackle a rhythm, we'd jump in at the booth, not knowing that we want to sing. Right. And, you know, one might hum a melody and next one come up with some lines. And 
that was it was good because you know it's teamwork and it makes a dream work but at the end of the day you over time you get to realize that you're writing the same thing because you're doing the same thing every day right and it, it was outside of my character because that wasn't me i remember when i just started i used to tell donovan jermaine said mr jermaine can i write he's not a writer i need somebody to write some songs for me and he must say no yourself he buy me a song book called song songwriting book called songwriting for dummies and <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was a book that really and truly helped me to a, to a good level, you know? Um, and this was before I even write Can't Sleep. Wow. Um, everything that I learned from that book, I put it into, you know, my, my lane, uh, uh, everything that I'm doing, you know? And I realized at the time you know, that I was diverting from what I know. You know, so instead of growing from what I know, I was moving too fast towards something that's a different style that it is not me. And it was becoming more of writing from everybody else's perspective and not from me. You know, right, that was right. what really and truly was going on in my head or what I see. So I always want to write from a real point of view, you know, especially if it is things that have been through. You know, but more so things that I see going on around me, you know, in the environment around me, things that happen, whether in the past or in my present life, I wanted to wanted it to come out as real as possible. Right. You know, and you know, I I, I as you mentioned Barry's type of writing, I listen to him so often that sometimes, you know, there's no there's nothing else that you can do than to try and write this way because yeah. he's somebody that tells stories yep. you know and he's a very good storyteller and 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 i feel like that is how music should be in in in, in real life you know not just to get up and talk about so many different things that you know, and clam it in one song but to tell a story because you know a good story people always listen to it right you know and you know over time after, after a while, I realized that this is not me. So, I, you know, we, we kind of ease off of the thing where everybody come together and just, you know, run some things and we just write things that we're not sure about. And, you know, we tap into myself some more in, in my environment. You know, I became a little bit more, what I word what I to call it now, vulnerable with mm. self. You know, trying not to hold back too much because, you know, sometimes as man, we don't want to say, certain things in a song but we kind of let go of all them thing there because i want it to be as real as possible in the music you know um and over time i feel like the writing got better and better and better i try to write a little bit more from a story point of view and even if it is not story what i write in must make sense you know you right. shouldn't divert too much from what i really and truly want to say you know so you know, it can only get better from here on, man. Um, I, I feel like I've been doing well, especially whenever me and my friend Nico, because he's. I realize that he's somebody that writes just like me. You know, I will. I will be home probably three, four days writing one song. Mm. You know, because I know what I want to achieve in terms of what I want to get out. You know, and he's somebody like that too. So we'll, we'll take time. You know, if it's a sound right, we're not recording it. You know. You know, if it you know if it it is not real, like you, we don't want to sing it. Right. You know, um, so there are times when we write some songs and we say, "Hey, we write this." I mean, no, it sounds good and it's a good story, but I know me. Let me send it to somebody else. Right. That is how you know I I I, I write nowadays. You know, wow. and I never rush anything at all. You know, because you know, you know, Barry Sue always said, "Yo, just don't rush anything." Just Right, you know, always say sing love songs, sing songs for the ladies, you know, sing as much love songs as you can, you know. Yep. Um, you know, you know, you know, eighty percent of more work. I have, I have the song that you can't see, but who feels it knows it and the system, and you know, because we have to talk about them and the songs like the Dutty Man and all these things. We have to talk about them because these are things that are in front of our faces, and we're artists at the end of the day, mm -hmm. and we shouldn't just be entertainers but we should be people who educate as we go along too yes. so there, there will be moments where we talk about the real things that are going on around us we can't play a blind eye to them 
you know so then it, that will, will what that is what would make you know me say no 80 percent of my songs are you know love songs songs for the ladies and thing you know but i see myself just growing each day trying to get better right. i always see myself at 50 percent of my full potential so i don't know even when i'm at the full potential i won't know because I I'm, I want to see myself at 50% because that's the only way I think that, that I will grow and get better and not get complacent with my writing and feel like, yo, I'm a buck now. Right. You know, it's just for continue learning and opening my eyes and my ears to different styles of writing, you know, and applying it to what I know, you know. Um, right. It can only get better from here, man. I, I, I learn from the greats, you know. We don't have to look too far because in our own genre music, which is reggae dancehall scene. We have some of the most talented singers, writers, mm -hmm. you know, DJs. We have them right here. Right. You know, whether the past and gone, they're there for us right. to learn from. We don't have to step too far out. They're right there, you know. Um, so, you know, I'm just learning from them. I'm learning from the people who are there who helped me along the way. And, you know, just putting everything together to make myself a better songwriter singer musician over right. well you started out on the right foot because you know you have like you said can't sleep um who feels it knows you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and, and and them songs which is coming from the first album yeah if you look on the picture on the first album right about it look like a baby picture <laughs> you know you know what I'm um, like it look, it look literally like 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 like, 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 like just about just about yeah, yeah. but 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 yeah, and then of course, love that and all them songs which are which are songs that you know lyrically speaking were way above your years at the time but there's a song on there which i know say so that album came out when 2000 oh, 2010? 2010 2010 yeah so you're talking about 2010 and i'm willing to bet you that people in the streets especially the man them in the street right about now i probably come up to you every day a song named no money right <laughs> <laughs> and the fan artist jano and, and i'm dropping these names ladies and gentlemen go look them up all right i sang name no money when i heard yeah. that song yeah the only two words i come out of my was jano jano <laughs> jano no no let, let, let me ask you this virgo we're in that time and it's always been that for, for reggae and dance yeah. music but we're mm -hmm. in that era where you know People's attention span so limited. You, you know, every, most artists want to be dropping something new every day, and 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 rightfully so because the radio people and the DJs are gonna ask them for another thing every day. But I notice you don't drop songs every week, mm -mm. but whenever you drop a song, it's solid. Ain't no fast food stuff when it comes to yeah. the music from women. Is that by design? Talk to me a little bit about that process. Yeah. Um. It, it was it, like there, there were years, you know, like in the past where I've caught a few songs that drop like on a different juggling, different jugglings. And I feel like it was wasted music. It was becoming, I started to feel like, you know, disposable in a sense, you know, because how can I drop five songs in, in one month? You know, like nobody's going to know them, even if there are five good songs, because it this is no reggae or you know sing 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 along song people take time because it's not the kind of song that a dj is going to take up every single you have to love the artist right but it's not every dj around the world who are into reggae music are going to take it up every single day and play it in a session especially when a man goes in the dance so i had to understand that and learn the hard way say hey listen it makes no sense putting out so much music um what it, it, maybe you will find out you can some people have a strategy where they want to put out five songs and hopefully one work out of the five mm -hmm. but i just believe that you know you, you have to give yourself time and see how you grow it's a part of the growth too for people hear your songs so you can know what they like or what about the song that they didn't like you, know, you put out this song you put out enough effort mm -hmm. and jesus me, me when i'm a baby about one second, one second. Yeah, but do you think, do you Come. think, do you think? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, so we're talking about what we're the artist is, and if and, and, and I'm going to talk about something else in a minute. I'm going to talk about something else in a minute that you guys are going to love when it comes to Romeo and Virgo, you know. Um, real family man, real daddy at a young age, all right? A young, young age, but real family man, real daddy is not no, yo, let the sitter take care of it, let no, whatever the case may be. And, and, and the artists have twins, you know what I mean? 
twins. So you jump out the gate with two. All right. So I got to, <laughs> I got to be up. I respect the artist for that. And then babies are stars too. So if y'all yeah. don't know, if you don't know, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. 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 Yeah, right. I'm a huge fan. For those people who haven't dialed in, they need to go on YouTube and check out the Virgos. That's one of the shows that I am dialed into on YouTube, right? <laughs> I'm I must ask you because again, peer, parenthood, you start yeah. that, you know, we, we, we all jump into that being somebody who's on the road and like you say, you're an artist, a lot of people cater to your needs and a whole nine, but then you're jumping into peer, parenthood. Um, both feet, but twins, brother. Twins. Oh, all I want to ask you is this. What came to mind when you saw the sonogram and it said twins? Yeah, I know me, I know me not believe. <laughs> I know me can't believe, even though they're here. It's right. Like, what? Yo, like me, I said, me, me said to Liz the time, you sure? Like, and she said, yeah, the doctor said, yo, it's two. You know, but I, at the time, though, it was like we didn't get, we weren't getting getting too excited because he was telling us that most pregnancy, most twin pregnancies start out like that. And then after a while, it's just you yeah. see one heartbeat, you know, like mm -hmm. one probably vanish. Right. So, you know, we were there just trying to keep the composure. And as time go by, you know, you know, they they, they, they them stick together, man. And it was just a, it was a blessing to see, you know, <laughs> that you know they're here now and they're just beautiful girls who, you know, them well behaved, you know, because the whole time them around, they watch them TV, me feed. Cool, them. Man. But them kind, of, them probably kind of want the attention now, so them ball out. But trust me, it's, it's amazing. Me ask me, you, the question, me the answer your question, the last question you asked me before me run out. <laughs> yeah, well, go. we were getting into it. But yeah. I don't even remember what it was, but the, 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 the real star them show up. The real star them show up, so I saw the thing go. I saw it go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you good at everything, but you the opening act. The real stars just came <laughs> to the stage, so. Yeah. But, you know, you know, it's, it, I have to ask you this. When it comes to the Virgos, because, again, Right now, people try to keep that wall up, especially a facade of a wall. You yeah. talk about earlier on in our conversation, vulnerability, right? Yeah. How how did you come up with that concept of saying, you know what, I'm going to open up the house. I'm going to open up life yeah. to the onlookers, to the world. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, we, 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 but we have been people who are, you know, very, very private with everything that we do, you know, from the start. Um you know, me, you know, our relationship from day one, you know, I remember when, when I even proposed to Liz, you know, nobody knew about that until like six, seven months after, you know, when, when we got married, it was like a year after um, that people knew, you know, when she, when, when she got pregnant, it was like probably eight months after that the world knew, you know. Um, it, it was, it was how we we could cope we, we we could cope with ourselves and everything that was going on around us as as two people together because you know people are already mm -hmm. you know and you know liz is that kind of person too so even if it was a situation that i would want to show some things then she on the other hand is not that kind of person and i had to respect that too right. you know so you know the, the mere fact that we we feel, we, we, we feel like you know there, there is so much that the almighty has blessed us with in terms of both of us together, you know, and then to bless us with a family and we, 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 we're growing, we're getting better as the days go by. We felt like, you know, like, you know, there's so much that we have achieved, you know, in terms of us and as a family that we feel like it was, it was a perfect time to share a little with, 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 with um, the world, right. you know, and what perfect time to do so, you know, like, um, like within this whole pandemic, you know, mm -hmm. where everybody's at home and people, you know, just just don't know what to do, you know, and you know, and we, we, we decided at the time that you know what, maybe now is the perfect time to just share a little with the people more than what we post on, on Instagram whenever we get the opportunity. Right. So when 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 we came back home we were saying we could start a YouTube cha channel. And, and this would be a, a, the perfect way to you know kind of tell people about our journey and and you know because a lot of people always ask they want to know in the comments 
and we feel like hey this would be a nice the way because you know people are home now they they don't know what to do with themselves you know mm -hmm. i feel like this could can be a lot of motivation and just to uplift the, the spirit of the people with, within this time right. and we decided to do it i remember the very first video that we did <laughs> it was supposed to be like five minutes it should take us five minutes to tell people that hey this is ramin this is liz we're about to start a youtube channel um whatever whatever and it took us like one hour because we we're there wow. laughing yo like is that we're enjoying it what we, have, what we have to do we sure one did that thing yeah so it's like right, right. yeah just to show you how private we were you know and to be honest with you it's it i see it as a part of growth right. our growth too because I am not some. I, I I've never been somebody to always be on the camera and doing a whole lot of things. But I feel like it helped me so much with even know me and your reason. Right. It's like me just want to talk. You right. Know, right. Want to give you information, and so it helped with that part. And my my confidence in front of the camera is is somebody that it got hard to get her to do an interview. Right. And right. That, that is kind of. But nowadays you can see the confidence in her like you know it, it does help so much it, the channel has helped so much with that part of our growth you know and just seeing um i always make we always make mention of the mtm family which is wayne marshall and tommy chin yeah is is like seeing them doing it you know it was like hey look sometimes all you need to do is just make a step you know right, take that right, first right. step in life whatever you feel you feel scared about like hey i want to do this thing but i'm afraid to try it just just make that first step man and anything wow. else is possible we, we started we believe that at one point that all right pandemic by the time 2021 come the pandemic will be over and then maybe maybe we're not gonna vlog no more and things like that but People call us sometime and threaten me like, yo, what do we do? <laughs> wow. Yeah. People say, yo, I'm doing videos like, yo, we want, yo, like, I will not, you not make me feel alive right now. We need, right. yo, like, and we realize how serious it was. Then when people were saying, hey, yeah, videos, you know, and inspiring. It's very inspiring. Till now, we, we still have to have the videos because people, are inspired by everything that we do you know when it, when it comes down to the girls and how we manage you know to to, to take care of them this is at work no i'm here with them uh by myself you know and it is motivating to a lot of people right. and you know it feels good to know that you know we can make a video 15 20 minutes just to show them a few things that we go through throughout the day mm -hmm. and people enjoy it so much so trust me it's really and truly a blessing you know and you know i wouldn't change anything about it you know it's it's not everything that happened in, in our life we're gonna take up and, and say hey we're gonna put it on youtube no right you know right, but right. we want to do things that we know will make people laugh it will make them feel motivated and make them see themselves like hey romaine is going through this as well liz is going yeah. through this so no need for me to feel like i am the only one over here because if somebody that we love so much can go through things like these, then you know, I, sh I shouldn't feel I shouldn't feel too bad about myself. So I love it, man. I love it, and and especially with, with with social media showing so much negative things, I feel like there are a couple of wholesome things that you can see, and your channel is one of those channels. Again, big fan of Liz, um, your, your sister too. I met her. Your mother, they forget our own show. Your mom's, they forget our own show. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mommy, I do okay. Yo, like people are really people not even get to know the real mommy yet. Believe me, it's like wow. she's such a beautiful soul and somebody who you know, them kind of parents that we just fit, fit right in. Yeah, so yeah. Like all young the, the, the group of people is mommy just come and fit right in. So, nobody feel like, oh, wow, Romy and mother, yeah, Romy and mother around now, so we can't do this, so we can't. She, she's just somebody who understands and just sit right in to make her feel comfortable like wow every, everybody will come around her and just fall in love wow. with her man because of the, 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 the person that she is she if she come here now she make she know why you do nothing at all she want to try and take over everything she, she right. do the, you know she'll do the cooking in the kitchen she'll help with the babies she'll do 
she's just that kind of person, full of energy, full of life, and I'm just blessed to have a mother like her. Man. Wow, wow, I dig that, I dig that. And I would say, watching, it's amazing, and I, and, and I implore you, keep, keep, keep doing it, because yeah. we need it, the masses need it, especially yeah. in this time. Yeah, now, man. we're talking about, you know, a lot more than music primarily. I, I always say to the masses, the music is available on all your platforms. All platforms. Yeah, so man. you can't go get the music, you know what I'm saying? But in this day and age, it's more so about connecting with you. And I yeah, think man. the YouTube channel definitely does a great, you know, mm -hmm. it's a great option to do that for you. Definitely. Keep definitely. doing the do. Keep doing definitely. the do. Now, yeah, let me ask you this. When it comes to that same the whole um, the pandemic situation, you know, it affects mm -hmm. different people, different, especially our creatives are affected yes. differently by it. Some people yes. get bogged down and they're down. Some people like, yo, they get inspired because, you know, there's nothing else to do. Right. Yeah, true. How has the pandemic affected you creatively? Well, well um, I, I'm going to say it have a great effect on me in terms of creating mm -hmm. because I get so many opportunities, you know, like whenever I get the time, obviously from the girls, Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm going to the studio, there's so much that was inside and so much that I was writing and putting on voice notes wow. to just go inside the studio and just release all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's so many songs I've written over the, over the, the, the whole time and um, songs on top of songs, you know, myself and Nico, you know, we could give you two albums now if you ask us. Wow, wow. You know, yeah, they, they, we have that amount of songs that we, we, we've worked on, you know? Mm. And it's just a blessing because, you know, the, the pandemic allows you to understand that, hey, listen, this life is real, you know? Right, right. You know, because we, 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 we're we here and, you know, before the whole thing, we never imagined, say, we would have ever, I got locked up in our house them for so long or we now get to go up on the road and see, see, the people we love should get to do the things that we love to do you know and you know so 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 all of that all of that teaching everything that you see now that is happening around the community the family the, the, the person the, the things that happen in the personal life is it, it, it now becomes music to me you know wow. and so you know all of that we just put in inside of the studio you know or from a phone and then inside of the studio so there's so much new music d different different songs from, from different kind of, well one second Give me yeah, man. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen yes i got some online shopping yeah man <laughs> all right all right all right all right emma come come emma yeah emma, come. I love it. Come. Come. Yo, two the hey, beautiful, say, beautiful kids. Say, hey, Uncle G. Cole. What's going on? The hey. She's like, man. You know, trust me, it's for watch, to watch. I, I see it on YouTube, but to see you in action live. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. It's a blessing, man. Trust me, man. And we never know somebody could have multitask, you know, my brother. So, <laughs> one time, one time, you have to focus. You have to just focus on what I do. Yeah. You know? and, and if somebody says anything to me, it's like, I forget every single thing. Wow. You know, nowadays, I find myself, I do four, five, six things one time. Right. And if it wasn't for, for these girls, then we would know some of yeah. the ability to do things like these, you know. So, yeah. right. Me see, me see things like these as blessings, man. Like the, the mere fact that you're doing things now that you never ever imagine yourself would do, and mm. it's because of something that me see would would or probably a predict would be a struggle for me. Right, right. You know, right. You, you know, like them so want to kill you, make you stronger. You know, so mm -hmm. it it has definitely made me stronger in so many different areas, man. You know, wow. I love it. I love it. I wouldn't have it not awake. I mean, like I said, it, it it's it's become out of YouTube to reality right now. I'm just like to see an action doing what you do yeah. is a blessing. It's a that, blessing. It's a blessing, man. Blessing. Now, we, we got a lot of people showing a lot of love here, and I guess for those people who haven't checked out the YouTube channel, I need to go do so too. Um mm. to me, when it comes to music, and sometimes I dissect too much, but I always think of certain projects as being not just great music, but important mm -hmm. works. Yes. Your second album, the system. 
right? Mm -hmm. The first album was beautiful. It was a dope album. But the second album in terms of topic and content and what you were addressing, to yeah, me, is a very important art, uh, album. Not just for you, but for reggae music. Yeah, man. Talk to me a little bit about that album. Was that also by design that I'm going to talk about some things? You know I mean, you dive into mama, you dive into the system, you dive into yeah. a lot of things. Talk to me a little bit about that album. Yeah, um, when, when I wrote the system, I feel like it was, life was getting way more serious for me now. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, to take the, the, the music from that, 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 that level that people would probably feel like, hey, I'm sing, I don't want to do the cancer song and do, you know, the Love Doctor song, but what, what else can he do? I wanted mm -hmm. to show them some serious growth in what I was experiencing over time, you know? Mm -hmm. You're still there? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so doing that album t to me. I've lost your audio. Live thing, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me. It is a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to dive in with the artists and all our vibes. Trust me. Listen, the real deal. Hear me now. Tell me, tell me, say, yeah, hear me good now. You're clear, man. You're HD. You're HD. All right. Yeah, man. So at the time, I would just I'd feel like, yo, we need to take the people on a different journey you now with the system and just talk about the more serious things that were going on. I have some love songs on it as well. And it was at the time because. I just couldn't go around them. I feel like my company at the same time, my record label at the same time, just couldn't go around them because people were loving those songs so much. Right. And, you know, it was it's a part of who I am. It's how I started out with the love songs. So they didn't want to leave at all. But system, we're talking about some of the more serious topics, as I just say, you know, the system itself. Um, I think it was the same album that Rich in Love was on and it was kind of showing yeah. people you know, kind of background, similar background when I talk about rich in love, yeah. you know, financially, I'm a papa, you know, all of these kind of songs. I know uh, better. Yeah, I know better, you know, because yeah. he, he, was just, he was just trying to, 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 to take it to a more serious level in terms of not just what was going on, but, you know, my writing level, my writing skills to show people that, listen, I love what I do, you know, and I want to, to make the best music for you. You know, mm -hmm. and so I was, I was, I was trying to write on some different levels, different topics. You know, wow. I tried, you know, song like I know, but I was just trying to show the youth and say, listen, you know, all of us, we could be anything that we want. You can be anything we want for me. So if, if, if a bad man thing, yeah, you can be it. But right, choose, right. choose the right thing. Right. You know, because you know better. You know, and you know, I just wanted to to open the minds of people some more, man. Outside of just what they know me for the love songs. I right. wanted to, to show them this other side of me, you know, where I wanted to, to you know to bring some certain topics to the forefront. And System was just a beautiful album. Um it it, it a lot of people said it showed it showed growth. Yep. You know, which was what I wanted to achieve anyway. Right. You know, you know, and you know you have some people who say, yo, no, we prefer, we prefer the Rome, we prefer the first album because right. You know, Certain attachment, you know, the the the, the love songs, them and you know, songs I can't see, which was one of my you know, my very first big song. People still love that album so much. I don't know what about it, but you know, I, what, I can't just, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I I'm I'm gonna tell you a little story about that song Can't Sleep, you know. Um my daughter was 16 years old, she had a yeah. talent show to do. Yeah. And I was going through some songs for her. She heard that song and she said she wanted that song. I said, I look over YouTube, I try to find the rhythm. Can't find the rhythm. Can't find it. Can't find the rhythm. I found Beris's TV track. Don't ask me where we get it. Yes. Right? Yeah, that, that's the video. I don't yep. know. Right, right. That's all right. So, so I'm going to have to carry her in that studio and, and have her create her own little harmonies for that I mean, song. I found it, yeah. And get her our own TV track. So right now, a year tune, Can't Sleep, she yeah. will use and done the show trust me Yo. so that Yo. show is is that that song is special to you but it's special to my household too and and, and trust me it's a blessing that you yeah, man, it's, a bless, it's a blessing man so that was system man system beautiful album that showed growth and a lot of writers people who did reviews on the album you know the growth is what they talk about mostly in terms of writing you know how a sound and that's the direction of where I was going with the music, you know, opening up to different topics and different ideas. Wow. And it's just a blessing, man. Blessing, a real blessing. What, what, was, what was your mom's re reaction when she hear Mama's song? My mother just loved every single song in you know, my brother. Like, yeah. <laughs> he, he, all right, but I, I, do, like, I remember the first time when I was writing Love Doctor, right? Mm -hmm. The woman may I write. 
because the, the house that you live now, we, we were in that house b- by then. Mm-hmm. And the upstairs are right. I'm your love that called me. The time in, and then, you know, gibberish mm-hmm. after. So I was just there singing over the same thing, trying to find where I want to take this song. And my, my, and my mother let me hear down the stairs. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, more, you know, more, you know, church, church vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna listen. I say, no, stop my God with a song of them. Yeah. If my mother can downstairs, I listen to something I create, yeah. and it stick. Then that is something great. Right, that's right, all I right. need. That's 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 like confirmation. Work with this song. Work with it. Me and my mother don't just like, love, doctor, call me and say no. <laughs> yes, I should Jesus up the tune. <laughs> <laughs> Big up, mom, dudes. Yeah, Big up. man. <laughs> I tell my brother, man. And, yo, know, it is, is, it's just a blessing, man. So she, all right, she, she, once the melody stick, mm-hmm. she will sing. Right. And me not talk about just my music alone. Any yeah. artist out there. Right. Once the melody stick, you're going to hear she sing it. Sometimes you say, Mommy, you know what kind of song you sing? <laughs> <laughs> and she will just say, You know, that song, maybe hear it on the radio. And, you know, so that is her. You know, so when it comes down to music, there isn't any specific Romeo, because once it's a Romeo Virgo that is out there, mm-hmm. she, she have it. She, 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 she get a hold of it. Some, she, somebody that still put our CD in our car and drive around and listen. So from time to time, whenever we go back a step me, she say, you know, can I see the yeah. and she has a look out for the community. Like people want you know people that like the, the bar they around this so I the man they would drive the taxi there, he might mm-hmm. ask you a CD or whatever. So she's like medical community promoter. <laughs> <In that sense. laughs> Yeah. Big up moms. Big yeah, up man. moms. So, she love the music, man. She love everything that I put out. You know, especially if it have anything to do with her, like me talk, like me mention her. I remember I, I did a song called Never Make Her Sad, yeah. which was a song dedicated to her. And it's just something so special and and, and she hold that so close to her heart. Like wow. um yeah. You know, every time she, she have that song as a ring ringtone now. Wow. So whenever she's around, you'll hear, Mommy, you always a prayer for me. Oh, yeah. Miss that you could know just how much you dear to me. You know, and you you you, you would wow. understand how that make me feel, you know, as yeah. as a son where knowing say your mother can't take up any one of your song them and use it as a ringtone. Yeah. You know, like me couldn't ask for nothing more, like what oh. more me could I want? Just to oh. know, say, whatever me I do now, mommy just happy. And she now have to, she now have to be afraid to play it. Yeah. Anyway, we can send her a song now. I say, it's some lazy song and she now, me now have to worry about, she go, or, or feel like it is. I wonder if she go like this. I like when me are saying that song. Mm. Every single thing that I send or that comes out, is like our next favorite, our next wow. favorite. So wow. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for, for that, you know, and that is what I always wanted to make her proud, you know, and not just make her proud because, hey, I can't take care of myself, no one, you know, by extension, I can, whatever you want, I can help you with, no. Right. It's not, it's not that level. It's just being a human being, a man that you, you can proud of, can say, hey, you know, you, you never son. have, the, yeah, the father figure around for, for show you things from a daddy perspective, but look at the son you are now. You know, just those kind of things. It yeah. makes me so happy, you know, and I know that oh. it makes her happy. So, you know, can't ask you and, I couldn't ask you another mother like her, man. Trust me. Amazing, amazing person. I love that, um, and and it shows on it shows on camera when I, when I, when I, when I'm when I watch the show on my seat. So mm-hmm. big up, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, definitely. Mm-hmm. Now, when especially for singers, when singers try to come out the bar, reggae singers, a lot of time the way to go is let me slap some covers and me do whatever I do. Mm-hmm. Especially you coming out a rising star, you did a lot of that on the show yeah. and whatnot. But I did notice that when you came out the gate, 
with with first album Romeo and Virgo, and and, mm-hmm. and it was kind of a while after before you actually started touching like covers on a recording standpoint or releasing yeah. standpoint. Was mm-hmm. that also by design in terms of you don't want to get stuck in that, or it just didn't didn't happen that way? Um, when when I when I started out, you know, Donovan Jermaine was trying to focus on me and 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 building me, you know, but he was somebody who believed in paying, you know respect to 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 the people who help to pave the way so i remember j- just because uh for example a song that i did called um with the alton ellis medley that mm-hmm. i did he you want some more yeah that duty yeah man so because a song that i did with 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 um on rising stars the alton ellis cover Mm-hmm. He was saying, "Yo, he really respect, say, you know, me, 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 me try to show love and appreciation to the the, the ones that were there before me." And he, in the, in the background, we were doing some covers, but he wasn't ready to put them out as yet. Ah. So I don't know if you remember me doing the Alton Ellis medley. Unrising, yeah. sir. Unrising, yeah. No, well, Unrising, sir, but I did a Alton Ellis medley as a recording, which was produced by Pentos. Right, because right, right. When you turn and you walk to that, you know. Yep, and, yep. Yeah. So that that, that song that we were, I was doing songs that do. I was doing covers of Toots. You know, time tough. Wow. You know, time tough. Every and I, I even remember doing um, Bonnie Wheeler. Bonnie Wheeler's that song didn't go out either. Um, we did a song called. Crucial, right? I know a lot of people, and it, ha- it wasn't released. It, it is not. It wasn't released. Wow. You know, like this a system, a crucially crucial. In a this a rhythm, and at the time it was because of everything that Jamaica was. I feel like we were in a. The, the whole world was in a in a one of them times where you know say, you know you know funds you know. And and the, 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 the entire world was just in a struggle at the time. Mm-hmm. And Donovan German at the time said that yo, we should record songs like these. Or right. if, you know, we're gonna cover songs, we want to cover some songs like these and bring back some of these songs. Right. You know, um, so I was always recording, I was always working on covers, you know, in the background, but Donovan German wanted to work on me first, you know. I got you. And I, you. And I really appreciated that. So it was after, you know, we decided that, you know, there, there are so many songs that and artists that we love and respect, and we feel like if we're gonna do even cover a song, it must be something special. It must be a song that we can do more with, you know. When right, right. The original singer of the song here, the song that should feel proud, like, whoa. You know, I can't believe that my creation could move from this to this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or, or even if it's not to this, but then something new about it, something fresh mm-hmm. about it. You know, that, that was our aim at the time. You know, so when songs like, we don't you remember, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and stay with me, you know, right up to songs like Soul Provider, right. you know. When when we when we when, when they did covers of those is because we know that we wanted to do it and we right. know what we could do with it as as artists, producers, you know. So trust me, it, it it's a beautiful thing. Nowadays I kinda kinda step back from it a little bit now mm-hmm. and, and again focusing on you know you know creating some, some more original music right. because at the end of the day that's all that is my legacy. Right, you know? right, right. And you know, p- you know, over time, people, people seem to love everything that I'm doing, you know, and them, them appreciate everything, you know, just like how them love our original song, the same way them love and respect if we should do a cover song, you know. And you know, but especially now, me and management Nico, he wants me to to to, to be f- focusing on 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 self you know, and creating you know, and right, and making. Right. You know, you know, sharing things from my perspective, you know, and you know, we are enjoying it as we go along. You know, we are creating some beautiful music, you know, and the people seem to be enjoying it. There are some. I hate to go on an interview or talk to anybody and say, "Yo, Mister, me have a song of forward or whatever." Right, right. We just want them to hear it, you know. But we have some beautiful music of forward, wow. brother. That's all I can wow. say. And 
you know, as you say, we don't want to rush it either. You know, there are t even today somebody on on the one of my last posts they were saying we mean we need some new music, but uh, because I know what right, I right, know, right. I'm just like don't worry yourself, man. Something don't worry yourself. Something is coming. Something is coming, and and I do understand, right, especially right. in a time like now where people, as I said, people are home, they can mm -hmm. consume more. It's like they want more. They want music. They always want new music. The last song that we put out was a song called "Beautiful to Me." Mm -hmm. You know, um, it is a beautiful song, by the way, and people just want more. You know, so we, I understand that, but I know that, as we mentioned earlier on, that you know, you know, music is isn't anything that we are supposed to rush, right. and it should feel special when you hear it. Right, you know, right. and especially if we are working towards a, a a a project, we can't be putting out five, six, seven, eight, nine songs leading up. Project. Because now you're gonna have nine songs plus maybe fifteen other songs from a project that is some twenty odd or thirty yeah. odd songs that that we 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 have now, and then some of them will just become you know last in in the whole process. Yeah. So we just have to take with time, man, as we go along, man, and make sure that whatever we put out there is something that we believe in, right. something that I know that I, I'm not just putting it out and. To say hey here is new music but it's because I, I know that i want to perform this song and yeah. see it i want to promote this song i want to I, I believe in it so much i believe in the message so much that i want to give it to you you know and yeah yeah you know, it's, just, it's just the vibe that behind everything that i've done no especially now so new music always always in the, in the pipeline so. I dig that. I dig, and and the, your song choice when it comes to the covers is impeccable because every last one of them, I think the reason why it resonates the way it does is because even though it's, it's, a, it's I don't even call it a cover. I feel like it's a, it's a reinterpretation because yeah, exactly, when I hear yeah. yours, I don't think of the original, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm here, you're one. Yeah. Eh, I'm going to read it to a pretty original. Now, yeah. you talk about that song, Beautiful to Me, and earlier on, we talk about the whole vulnerability situation too. Sometimes it's, it's, yeah. it's tough to, you know, just watching the shows on YouTube, it's mm -hmm. almost like you're maybe not emotion, but you put you're not afraid of putting your feelings on your sleeve. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that conveyed into that song. Talk to the masses a little bit about the song "Beautiful to Me" because I know it's a personal, near and dear song to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Very, very personal. "Beautiful to Me" was written like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't. I at the time it was just look at just the inner house thing. Something that shouldn't really go road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because at the time it was like me just wanting to have a song that I could whenever Liz is probably feeling down mm -hmm. I would probably say come here and let me play this song for you and just sing the song for her and it would be like an in-house thing mm -hmm. you know so me never, me never ever see the, the song having the potential to be a, a song song like that it was right. more from a point of view where you know, um, it was it, it was more something like you know, as I said, in in house and mm -hmm. per very personal. So I wrote the song two years ago, all because I feel like Liz take too much time in the bathroom. And she <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can relate. I <laughs> <laughs> feel like Liz, listen. You take too much time to get ready, man. Like, come on, you, you, you know, say you're not have to do much. Yeah, you spend so much time in the mirror, put on makeup and all these things, you know. And it was it was not a joke though, but um, it, it ended up becoming a song. Right, so I said, right. You know, I write a song about this situation there, yeah. and I wrote the song. Uh, I, I, I don't think I did even have a bridge for the song. Wow. You know, until we start do the actual recording of the song. Um, so I wrote the song, introduced it one day. We were here with the girls, and at the end of the video, I decided that you know what, Very Nation, I wrote this song for Liz, and I want to share it with you. Um, hope you like it. And I started singing the song. She was sitting right beside me, and the moment we put out the video, everybody was saying, "Yo." Uh, what a song, bad yo! You need Romania, Africa put out the song, and yeah. Africa record it and put it out because 
the, the song yeah, our, our favorite right now i mean our fear i'm a fit a lot of people said them favorite song and like from the moment they hear it it's stuck in and they made the melody stuck mm -hmm. i mean i just say yo wow might as well let them say i want it so i could do it and i was looking at it at the time like an opportunity to, to give the fans and um an idea of what happens inside the studio right like what it takes to you know you know create a song so it was from 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 the 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 the, 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 the moment here around the keyboard mm -hmm. to the studio where we go calling the musician riff raff which was wow. my keyboard player i call him in you know myself and nico and him help with a workout something because i'm not I'm not that I can play a few things on the key keyboard. I'm behind the but I'm not that good at it, right? So right. Riff is somebody who understands this to a different level, you know? Sick, sick. Yeah, man. So <laughs> yeah. Yo, some somebody said this this baby's going to be a singer too. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yo. Um, <laughs> I want to the last night. I lived there on the keyboard. I play like I forget, I forget which the the, the night time song we are sing, and you want your rain and sing out, brother. Me I say she no she does her sing. She does her sing and right. Lisa said you know say look like she gonna sing. So the person who said that they probably right. Maybe <laughs> just so maybe. so who more give that off? Raina, Emma, who? Which one of the kids? Raina, 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 Raina is the one who sound like she want to. I like to be, I like to be. I like to be that singing. Yeah, man. So we take the people them through the process, my brother, from start yeah. to finish. Show them how we write, how we record, how we do. Um, I'm on an interview now. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Good. Yeah. Can me cut out your part and just play for them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so so it worked out it worked out that um the, the, the people them see everything i would do from start to finish and them love the entire process so we show them weekly on the vlog show yeah. them say hey this is where we reach the song now we just have to put on some arm and you know i would say hey this is where we reach the song now we are we are the overdubbing here and there musician coming and put on this and at the end we said such a beautiful song. We, but how we are approaching things now, you know, we're saying that if, if this song becomes a potential album song, we don't want it to just be there as a song. We wanted a music video for it. Right, right. I originally wanted Liz to be a part of the music video. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, all the songs started out, she's the inspiration behind it. But she was saying, this song is such a powerful song to her. That she believed that it shouldn't just be about her at the end of the day. Right, right, right. So she's saying, you know, she she been in, you know, um the song that I wrote that that's called In This Together. Um I wrote another song called uh Hero, which which, which was the first time that we showed the girls. Right. She was a part of that. And she she she's just saying, I feel like I'm a part of too much songs, you know. <laughs> I, I told you that video, first of all, but then she's saying this song is much more powerful than just about me because this is all she wants every woman around the world to feel about themselves. Wow. They should know that they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They should know that whether they're in the makeup or out the makeup, they are beautiful. Right, right, right. I dig that. Yeah, man. I dig that. Yeah, man. So like in our out the makeup, they should know that they are beautiful. And when she said that, it's like it, it's just a, a different part of me. It made me say, "Wow, I wasn't even looking at it the way you are looking at it." No, right. And, and I understood at the time why she said, "No, make somebody else be a part of the the video because this is more powerful than just a song that you sing for me." Because mm -hmm. every woman around the world should feel this message should know that this message is for them right. and right there it opened my my, my 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 brain to a different level like i wasn't even thinking there and right. she was right you know because nowadays you know like 
there's so many messages I will get daily. People reposting the song, people playing the song, say, "Hey, it is this is my song. I love this song so much. You wrote this song for me." Wow. And you know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to see where a song can come from, but how we can relate to so many people out there. Or, or people can re so many people out there can relate to the same topic. Mm -hmm. And I'm just grateful to have somebody who has that kind of thinking at the same time. Right. You know, it, 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 I see it as a blessing, man. And it's a beautiful song. People seem to love the, the, the music video as well. And we just want to continue to, 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 to make more music like this. I, I personally know that these aren't the songs that, as I said earlier on in the interview, like every DJ out there is going to take up and say, yo, I'm going to session now. I'm going to play this. Right, right. first or last. But we know that music like these or songs like these have to be written. <laughs> they have to be done in the studio. And yeah. it is going to serve its own purpose. for, for Timeless. Whoever. Exactly. Timeless. And, and we know that we will be here for a long while you know so we're just we're just we're just grateful man we're grateful for, for 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 life and the opportunity to write songs like these but even more so for people who come along and help help us to understand on a different level mm -hmm. you know because it always happens you know um with, with whether it's gonna be liz that comes in or it's gonna be nico or right. donovan Jermaine. it's always up with somebody for example i remember the lyrics went like this at first in or out the makeup or in the morning when you wake up mm -hmm. you're still beautiful to me right mm -hmm. and i remember when riff was mixing the song by diamond pseudo which is sasko pseudo sasko right. hear the song and i said yo what a beautiful song so I'm coming same time and I saw Romina and I love that song and I love that song. Like, this song is such a beautiful song. Wow. But I feel like you should change still beautiful to so beautiful. Because she in this look on it and on a wider scale now. Like saying still beautiful was he was saying it make it a little bit more conditional, like you know. Right, right. But right. You want to say so beautiful. And you know, no, without even, you know, a second thought, me say, yo, no worry, I say, come by the studio next week and come change. Right, change. right, right. Change it because me see clearly where you're talking about because even though I understand where it's coming from, right. and I know what I'm saying. To everybody else out there, for example, somebody who don't know where the song is coming from, they don't watch yeah. the vlog, they don't know a list, they don't know me, they're just hearing a song mm. and judging the song for the song. If they have a condition, for example, like somebody who have vitiligo, for example. Right. Them hearing the song might see from a different point of view. He's saying that I'm True. still beautiful. That means he's saying that, you know, something is wrong with you, but you're still beautiful. And, right. and that, that is never my intention. I would, would never want people to think that is the intention. You know, So it was such a valid point. I'm glad to say, you know, he, he saw it and he wasn't afraid to talk yeah. about it you know so you know it is good to have people as i say it's a blessing to have people around you who have that kind of brain who who can be there as a second voice right right listen. right sasco is, is like a brother to me somebody who i look up to so much somebody who i enjoy recording with and working with in the studio or live on stage with so much right. i have so much respect for him and I know it's the same thing towards me. So it's just a blessing, you know, it's a blessing to have, man. And, and you know, that's how I would want it to be as I go along because I don't know everything. You right, know, right. When you feel like you, you have life together sometimes, it just takes one moment for you to understand, to realize, say, yo, you know, have everything together. You know? That's true. And here is help. Yeah. Don't be afraid to take it. Right, you right. know, and that is how most people that are around me come in to play now. Like, yo, just just enjoy, just enjoy because it's, it's the almighty work. Like, yeah, now I'm gonna make the right people come in your life if you tell you the right things, right? You know, and you know, that that's what has been going on with music, with life itself, everything is it, just a blessing, you know. Is that testament to who you are, too? Because truth be told, an artist know this, it might be another artist that might not say nothing. <laughs> 
because him no say not that he wouldn't want to give the advice, but yeah. not everybody receives things properly. So it's just exactly. a testament to who you are as a person exactly. too. You're you know right. I mean, no, I'll, I'll say this. Like I mentioned, important projects. There are certain songs that I deem important songs, mm -hmm. and, and and you've got a couple of songs that are going to go down as important. But there's one particular one that I think is a very important. Not just is it a big tune. But I mm -hmm. think it's an important song. And it's that song you mentioned a while ago called Hero, which is easier crew. Yes. All right? Talk to the mass. And I'm mentioning the songs by title because I want the masses. Afterwards, when we go, I'm going I'm to I'm play. But I'm keeping them to the end just in case Facebook cut the thing. You know what yeah. I mean? We keep yeah. them at the end. But talk to me a little bit about that song, Hero, and what that song they mean to you. Hero, Um, when I, when I wrote Hero, it was just me. It was right after the babies. You know, came, mm -hmm. you know, and every time I hear them cry, I feel like I want to do something to to to, to stop them from crying. I don't like every time I hear them cry, like I get a, this sad feeling, like I wish I could understand what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And and as as soon as I'm cry, there's something I can do to just take away all that, whether it's pain or the attention that they need at the time. I wish I could just solve it, you know. Right, right, right. And this was how Hero came about, you know, just, just, just the position that I'm in now, seeing that I'm going to have to take life way much serious now that I'm living for, not just the, the, the people I mentioned earlier, like people in Buckingham community, or immediate family or Liz, but no, you know, children of my own, you know, mm -hmm. new, new family, you know, I realize that life is going to, I have to take life way much serious now. And right. it was like the song came like this because I mean I guess when you experience something when you see something all you have to do now is just put right. it in words you know and that was that was hero for me and you know every time I hear it every time I sing it I get a different meaning and a different feeling because listen this is this is your life no this is what. This, this this is the important this is Romy and Virgo now. This is this is this is your road. This is what the Almighty has blessed you with. Two beautiful girls, you know, family, wow. you know, you know, having Liz there, you know, wanting her to feel, you know, all the love, you know, wanting them to feel secure as 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 as, as babies. I mentioned earlier that I didn't have a father figure around when I was growing up to teach me like they say yo this is what you're gonna do when you have your kids and this is how you should treat them right so so, so you know with, with everything just coming is like yeah you hear me yeah man yeah man definitely yeah, yeah man everything does come together wonderfully man with that song and the moment nico here the, the moment zj chrome hear it is like you must say yo wow what a beautiful song i mean it does no say you know for, 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 for mark this time in my life I had to do a music video with the family, with the girls, with Liz, you know, and, you know, the song was out, so I had to put out the music video, you know, and this was now going to be the first time that the world was going to see the girls, mm. you know, and do this video, and it was just amazing, man, to see the love that everybody was showing, and to be honest with you, this song, the video, it gave me so much confidence, you know, and so much, it was like a motivation for me to continue to be who I am and just trying to grow as I go along, right. trying to outdo myself in terms of getting better. Right. And you know, so much to live up to. You know, wow. it's like it's that the song is like a challenge to myself. Wow, wow. You know, in other words. So yeah, man. And for the masses who haven't heard Hero, go check it out. You see, the thing about songs like those is when somebody's being transparent and you're putting everything out there like that, especially songs like those. Generally, it's a nice song. It's a beautiful song. People say, yo, I love that song. I'm going to draw it at a certain time. But that tune is a big tune. I'm going to say, drop mm -hmm. it on the radio, drop it in the session, drop it in the whatever. I'm going to tell you, every father, every man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, is going yeah. to feel the same way about that song. So on behalf of the masses and on behalf of myself, not only do we appreciate it, but thanks for that song. Like I'm going to say that yeah, on the bud, it proper. Give it thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Necessary. Well, let me do this, um, Romain. You have, you have the little one, but don't take up almost all the evening, and then I'm going to probably yeah. fire me right about now.
Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I just want to say thanks for hanging out with us. Talk to the masses a little bit. You know what I mean? Talking to me, but just just, just, just talk to the masses a little bit. Leave a little word of inspiration or support with them and let them know where to go and cop all of the Romeo and Virgo music. Well, you know, I always say to people, like, um, you know, I, I never, I, I, I always see myself becoming an artist and growing and thing, but how fast things have happened for me, you know, I, I am just grateful. I am nowhere I want to be yet, but I'm always grateful for where I am. So, we just say that we say, you know, as a youth growing up in Stepney, you know, it's like you, you wonder if these things that you have in the head can become a reality. You know, and I'm just saying this right now to say, no matter where you're from, no matter where, whether you know the hills or a, a, a place like Stepney, like where we come from, um, or in you know, the garrison area, wherever you are, wherever you're from, wherever around the world you're from, don't let your situation or, or your background, where you come from, determine where you go. Once you're believing in yourself, you know, once you, you work hard, once you dedicate yourself to what you want to do mm -hmm. then not, not all can can only you can stop yourself man you just have to believe first and you just have to make that first step and once you make that first step you're gonna realize that hey i can make a next step too wow. and just use every opportunity you get to the full to its fullest you know continue to work out believe in yourself never give up never ever get too lazy you know um you know, and you know, you can achieve anything at all. Man. Like as we said earlier on, only you can stop yourself, you know. So just 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 continue believing in yourself, you know, put the almighty first in everything we are do and, and, and work hard. You can achieve anything because there's so much that I want to achieve right now. Right. You know, as, as I said, maybe you can use the thing that I use, you know, just always seeing yourself at fifty percent of your full potential so even when others will feel like yo in reach right, in good, right, right. you are going to always know in your head that there's so, such a long there's still a, a far way to go right you know you know just just keep on working man. keep on working keep on believing in yourself you know and you know putting the almighty and the, the spirituality at the forefront of everything we do because you know, in everything that I do, he's always, you know, higher, higher power is always there at the forefront. You know, I make him lead the way, you know, so believe, continue to believe in yourself, my people. You know, I know that we're living in a tough time right now with this whole pandemic and we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't know what it look like, but just live every single day of your life being grateful, grateful for first of all life itself the mere wow. fact that you're here and you're breathing and mm -hmm. and you know things might look tough you might not even know where the food is coming from later just 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 be grateful in everything you do you know you know just show gratitude and and you know the almighty will work out a way man just keep on pushing keep on working hard love yourself you know love yourself love yourself love yourself you know love your family take care of your family because they are gonna always be the ones when the world done with you mm -hmm. um the ones that really and truly know you because nobody know you like your family yep you know but they are gonna be the ones that are gonna be, be there you know when you look at at, at a man's funeral who is there you know oh, and, wow and what people around the world and then go through and can say yo me have some people what some some people but just look at who is gonna be there, the wow. ones who are gonna be around at the time. So just, just live life, man, and enjoy, live it to the fullest. You know, no matter how tough the time is, you know, believe in yourself, work hard, put God first, and everything all right, man. Everything will be all right. Um, we appreciate it, brother. And, and on behalf of everybody, I'm gonna say this: the people who love the music, love the culture. One, thanks for keeping the banner high because, you know, we're in that time frame where people are worried about the culture being, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, let down to some degree. Um, thank you yeah. so much for keeping it high. But not only that, but for giving us music when I'm office censor, you know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. Where, from, from my kids been a kid and you've been dropping music, I can't say, yo, we're real going on the road. We drop some Romeo and Virgo. You're going to love it. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. So, so I appreciate that. I know a lot of people appreciate that. And I, and, and thank you so much. I don't even know if I said, please keep on doing it because I've got yeah. faith that you will, but just on, we're, we're me, thank just, you. Trust me. Give thanks, my brother. Give thanks. Give thanks. I, when, 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 when in a tone again, you know, my Lord, because here, why people, somebody commented earlier on, and you know, because <laughs> See, in you know, a studio life, I'm like, yo, the world is different now, you know. Plus, it's all good. When you're in town again, for a lot of day, whatever the case may be, we're going to do it right here. But thanks for the I time, brother. I want to say, brother, man, we shall, we shall link again, my brother, man, because that's the moment when we are waiting for. The moment where we can start to see each other again and can boom, fist and say, yo, my brother, yeah. what's going on? I yeah. miss, miss that, my brother, I tell you. Wow. So, you know, we just can't wait, man. We just can't wait for you. Go back in the place. Link up again. In a, in a real flesh, you see me? Right. So, you know, give thanks for the interview, my brother. Big up to everybody that stayed on and, and you know, that are still here, you know, well for love and, and, and appreciation. You know, you know, whether they are going to do music, man, I can't wait. We have so much coming oh, that, sorry. you know, we can't even say, but just know Looking that, forward. just keep your eyes, ears open. What if I new music are forward? Looking forward, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop here for them and a couple more before we get out of here. But again, I know the girls ready. I'm ready for voice too, dub. So I'm going to just go do, <laughs> do your thing. Big up, Liz. Big yeah, up, Mom yeah, Dukes. I want to keep uh, doing it, do I? All right, family. Respect every time. Much love. Friends hunger from me, you them burn. As the light out of the road, me a pre-bitter car. Romain Virgo, ladies and gentlemen, this one's a big tune. Oh, yeah. It's called Hero. From me, you them all the fathers out to the real daddies, them. Whoa. Anthem, baby. Let's go. Hustle to know. Must be long. And there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has indeed been a pleasure. Please be sure to subscribe to this podcast, Homegrown with G. Cole, available everywhere. All right. Also, check out the website, homegrownwithgcole.com, to listen and for all things homegrown. And to watch the video of this interview, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, be safe, be kind, and be good to each other. My name is G. Cole, and this is Homegrown. Nakikinika Sa Musica, Homegrown with G. Cole. Estás escuchando Homegrown con G. Cole. 您现在正在收听的是 Homegrown with G. Cole. You're listening to Homegrown with G. Cole. Remember, all the music played here on Homegrown with G. Cole is available on iTunes, Spotify, and all your digital retailers. Please support the artists.